time walking in, I came and I saw this guy. Today, I am going to the Goodwill and I'm going to source for specifically mid-century finds. I am very optimistic today that we are going to find some things when I get to the stores. I may have to do a couple of Goodwill runs. Um, today is Wednesday. This video goes up on Saturday. I'm sorry, today's Thursday. This video goes up on Saturday. So between today and tomorrow, I have some thrifting to do. So let's get going and let's see what I can find. level I don't know what happened with yesterday it just fell into place so yesterday I set myself up to find only mid-century home decor and I knew that I was up for a challenge because you, we all know that thrift stores are hit and miss. I was going to hunt high and low and go through various stores to find something cool in mid-century well, I didn't have to hunt very long or far. I actually happened to find most of everything that I have right in front of me in the first store. And I'm so excited to show you. Now, I also want to disclose that all, all of these pieces will be up on my eBay site. I started doing eBay again just so that I don't have to hoard everything into my house. So I give you guys the opportunity to bid and buy on these items. My link will be right up here. Just search for this user ID and all my listings should come up. And all right, so let's get into it. I had to also buy bags because they don't give you bags anymore. So I have like, the, let me show you the first bag. It's kind of cool, not too bad. So I bought this little tapestry bag to just put all my stuff in. And well, before I dig in the bag, I want to back up a little bit because when I came into the store, they had just finished putting everything up on the shelves. And there was a gentleman who has been working there for many years who pushes the cart and he was off to go and restock the books. Underneath his cart, I noticed something super interesting. It was ceramic and ceramics always sort of, you know, um, pique my interest. I've been trying to find, hold on, it's, it's worth something. So I have to be very careful. Um, look at this. It's a it's an antique Chinese water crock. And the lid comes out. It has the original copper spout and has a Chinese dragon. It's on both sides, but this is so it's probably a good 20 pounds. It is extremely heavy. So I paid 9.99 and guys, I've been looking these things up and they are upwards in the thousands. They are about $1,800, $2,000, $3,000 um, and nothing as quite ornate or interesting as this one. So I'm quite excited. I'm going to throw it up on eBay and see how it does. If any of you are collectors of Chinese pottery, by all means, bid on this guy share the listing and let's see what happens okay so since we're in the asian flair i normally don't buy single cups um but this one was a special cup um to me this is i believe a sake cup a Jap um, it's made it's labeled sakimbo arita japan so this will be up on my auctions make sure you take a look at that I then found this gold metallic vase 
And then as I pan down, I notice there were two other pieces that appeared to have all gone together. And they were all $2.99 each. Um, I'm gonna try to attempt to hold them all together. Let's see. This is the best as I can do. Um, so yeah, guys, this is so cool. I'm even considering keeping this because metallics are actually making a comeback. If you haven't seen a lot of chrome, it has been in right now. Um, brass has never gone away. We are still embracing brass. And so I don't really have anything metallic on my shelves and I'd be quite interested in playing with these guys to see how my pottery works with the metals. So I'm gonna list these up on eBay. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you check out the listings. Okay, so the next thing I found was this interesting mid-century candle holder. Now it is missing, I believe, the little glass votive um, in, inserts in here, um, but you can probably put a wide enough, this looks about a two inch wide candle in here. Um, I love how it still has its beads. These type of little people candle holders were very big in the mid-century. Um, I come across these a lot, but not as cool as this one with the beaded garment on them. So even though it's missing its glass inserts, I still think this is a really cool piece to display. So I'm always looking through the clear glass. You never know what you are going to encounter. I have actually found pieces of Baccarat in the glass section. I have come across some very expensive sign pieces of glass. So I never um, just bypass the glass. I always look at it, especially if it looks intricate and beautiful. Um, I found this beautiful vase and it has like these, um, these little balls on them. I believe this vase is crystal. And guys, just the overall shape. I'm not really into a lot of glass vases or crystal vases, but the shape of this is just something else. It really sparkles. It is so beautiful and I've not seen another one like it. It reminds me of the candle wick pattern. This is just a really beautiful sort of like an heirloom piece you would put like in your china cabinet. I'm trying to balance everything here. <laughs> the next thing I found, I normally, stray away from these things, but something about the size and the actual glazing of this piece just sold me. Um, this is an egg platter. Now I'm gonna pull it up so you can see what I'm talking about. It's almost like salt and pepper. Do you see that gorgeous sort of stone-like look to it? Um, this was $3.99. They made sure that I paid $3.99. <laughs> um, and I don't believe this is marked anywhere. Nonetheless, it's beautiful. And it definitely holds more than just your standard 12. This is two dozen. Um, and that's actually really, really nice. It's a nice large platter. It's in a perfect condition. Super mid-century. Everyone in that time made deviled eggs. Your neighbor was bringing them over and you guys were loving them. And you know what? I love deviled eggs and so, um, I mean, I was excited for this sort of very aesthetic pattern um, and size. So if you guys are interested in this, make sure that you check it out on the listing. Okay, so this is a little bit different from what I normally pick up. I couldn't help but just appreciate how cool the set is. This is truly mid-century um, stainless steel little tray, bowl, and spoon. So this is like a little soup setting, if you will. Perhaps there was like a whole set, but this was the only one that I was able to find. It is stamped Rogers in Silco, Fashion Stainless. Fashion Stainless, look at that, that's quite interesting. Um, and this was, I believe, $1.99 for this cool set. And I really love how everything just matches. It's just so, so cool. Okay, these are so fun. Again, not completely my personal aesthetic. I know Lucite was really rampant during the 1950s. We see 
um, lots of Lucite candle holders and Lucite tables. And um, I have a set of Lucite candle holders and they're a little loud, but they are marked by the designer, Orno Lalo. Orno Lalo, there's a little, there's a little gold tag right there. Um, fits taper candles and they were $1.99 each and they remind me of fire. Here's the back side of them. They're all resin. It reminds me of like fire. Now this designer I did look up and this is definitely her aesthetic. She is loud and proud and <laughs> loves color. That is something that you saw a lot in the mid-century. A lot of these bright tones, the oranges and reds and golds. And so truly an awesome little set that will be listed on my eBay also. Now I was checking out and I happened to stumble across this just sitting. I guess somebody must have put it back um, or decided against it. But you guys know me and my candle holder obsession, especially the wrought iron ones. I happen to find this one. Look how cool that is. And guys, this is just so, so cool. Very Scandinavian almost, like that Danish mod sort of appeal to it. I love it. And it holds a big chunky candle. This is made of an oiled bronze. And yeah, so this will be listed as well. Okay, now I found these and they, I love finding vintage candles. I thought these were like bath bombs or Christmas um, ornaments, but they're actually handcrafted little round candles. And I paid $1.99 and it says handmade quality candles from Europa. I can't see the labels covering the rest. Um, but they're not used. There's six in the package. I have personally not seen mirrored, truly metallic looking candles um, like ever. So I thought that they were very unique. I may or may not hold on to these only because they're just so cool. And I can see them looking really beautiful during a dinner party. Guys, so I have one more piece to show you and I almost put it back. I had about two ladies who stopped me, maybe three, who stopped me in my cart just to observe the piece that I had in my cart. And it is a piece of artwork. And I normally don't really get lucky with artwork, but I saw this from the distance and I went up to it. And I think this is gonna be somewhat of a thrift flip. I really love the styling of the overall wall art. I just don't like the colors. So I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and I'm gonna show you what it is now. And you guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram, I'm gonna post a link right up here. Make sure that you check out my reels. I'm going to be uploading lots of reels with some DIYs. I know I haven't done DIY on this channel in quite some time. The DIYs on this channel are kind of like iffy. And so I decided to take that content and just leave it on Instagram. And now with reels, I can load them up and you guys have been enjoying them there. So I'm just gonna continue that. So make sure that you catch um, this thrift flip on my Instagram. By the way, this wall art was $3 and there's a bottom sticker on the lower right that says it was $219 originally. I might have to back out. Let me see if I can just pull the camera further back so you guys can see. There it is. <laughs> I'll hold it this way so you guys can see. Isn't that cool? And it has a little hanging thing back there. So the picture is not signed. Um, I couldn't find anything on eBay or even on the internet in general searching for this type of artwork. So my guess is it's more contemporary, it's newer, but it has like that mid-century sort of, you know, abstract artwork vibe to it. Um, I really kind of like it and so I don't want to sell it. I kind of want to just do something cool. I want to update the tones in the picture. Um, so it has all the right sort of shape. I just have to finesse the colors a little bit and make it super cool. So make sure that you watch, so make sure that you're following me on Instagram to catch that thrift flip 
on one of my upcoming reels. Um, other than that, there are currently some things on my eBay right now. All these things will probably be loaded early in the week. I'm not sure. I have a lot of stuff going on today and tomorrow. If you put your notifications on on eBay, it will alert you when I upload all these items. So make sure that you um, save me as a seller and I believe eBay will send you an email as to when all these things are uploaded. All right, you guys, I'm super excited by all these things that I found. I mean, this was truly mind blowing to find all of this. And by the way, the only thing that I found in the second store was this painting and these candle holders. So everything else was in the first store and I was quite happy. I could have stopped there, but no, I had to continue and I went to another store just to see if there was anything else that I could add. Um, but I am so, so, so excited to find all of these cool things. So guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. You guys already know that I do lots of thrifting hauls, DIYs, home styling. So if that is the kind of content you enjoy binge watching, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this week. I'll see you in my next video soon.